Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 303. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 302 to 306. Hey, we have two exciting VLOOKUP tricks here. Here's the deal. We want to look up cores, trees, and seeds from here, from this table, and return the uh, code or the letter here. The only problem is cores is part of a larger text string. Down here, we have the full code for a product, but the middle part, the middle uh, two numbers, represents an area of storage, backroom, uh, backroom storage bins. So here, we need to extract for VLOOKUP just those middle two. Here, we just need cores. Now, we'll start with this one, which is a little bit easier than this one. I'm going to use the replace function. I'm going to find that space. Replace everything from the beginning to there with blank, and then it will just take cores. Equals replace. That's recall. <laughs> replace. Replace needs, oh, the old text is here, comma. And replace is nice because you give it a starting number and the number of characters to go, and it will uh, replace that with whatever you want. We can say 1, and then we'll go and find the space, which should be 6 for us. So I'll say 1 comma, the number of characters is that space. And what's good is the pattern we recognized here, which is always important when you're manipulating text strings, is you recognize some pattern. And our pattern is, oh yeah, there's always a space uh, before the, the last word. Not only that, but this particular formula will only work when there's two words and a space in between. All right, so my number of characters is going to be find. Find will find that space double quote, space, double quote, comma, within what text? This right here, close parentheses. I could highlight this and hit F9. That's evaluate key, and you can see that that's 6. I'm going to Control Z, and I will close parentheses on that. And now the replace has, oops, I forgot the last thing, comma. Oh, yeah, the new text, because we've started at 1 and we've gone 6. The new text is blank. Double quote, double quote, with nothing in between. Close parentheses, Control Enter. It replaced everything up to that space with a blank. Double click and send it down. Now, watch this. Um, this formula right here, I actually can use down here. Copy, paste. Now, when I double click and send this down, oh yeah. Now, this replace has done some of the heavy lifting. Instead of like the mid function that we often use, we can simply use this replace and now use the left function and say, from that text string, just give me one, two. And again, the pattern here is there's always a space and then the two numbers in the middle we want, F2. And I'll just use left. Left is going to take all that. And at the end, we need to tell it comma the number of characters, dos, two. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Now, VLOOKUP has what it needs uh, to do its looking up. I'm going to click here, F2. Click before that replace, VL tab in 2007. That's the lookup value, that whole thing right there. It's always safer to come and click up here, but I'm going to try and click right here because it's easier to see in the video. Comma, the table array, that's this whole thing. F4 to lock it comma, the column index, this is column 1, this is column 2. So the thing we want to return to the cell is from column 2. So I'll put 2, comma. And finally, the lookup range will, it's either true or false. We have an exact match. We're going to use an exact match because we, we want to find exactly that word. And down here, we're going to use exact match, too. So I'm going to put not false, but 0, close parentheses, control enter. Double click and send it down. Now we'll come down here, do the same thing, F2 and VL tab in 2007. 2007 has a lot of amazing things, uh, just amazing. OK, come to the end and comma, remember it's safer to come up here, comma. The table is right here. I'm going to hit F4 to lock it, comma. We have the same situation right here. Column 1, column 2, and 2 has the thing we want to return to the cell, so 2, comma. And do we want true or false? We want false. So I'm going to put 0 again, close parentheses, Control-Enter, double-click, and send it down. 
Now we're, we have one item that's not in our list. It gives us NA. That's uh, fine. There's lots of ways to deal with this. In earlier versions, you have to use an if and then list this twice. In uh, this version, I'm going to show you in 2007, you can just do if error. This is, again, one of those new functions that save so much time creating formulas. And for big spreadsheet she sheets, it saves a lot of time calculating. So if error, you don't have to, in earlier versions, you had to list this VLOOKUP left replace twice and find all twice. So it would calculate everything twice. But here, you just uh, put the thing in, and then comma. And if it comes out to error, then you say what to put in. Double quote, which is blank. Close parentheses, Control Enter. Um, and I'm going to copy it up and down. If you want to have a video just on if error, uh, you can type that into the search. All right, uh, some VLOOKUP tricks. See you next trick.